Hey guys, we're gonna have for the win here today. Gonna be hoping up two new Clash Royale videos. Up in Clash Royale, and hope there's a video. Okay, guys, now we're on Clash Royale, and before I start, you guys are like, first of all, what is this account? Second of all, like, I I'm gonna tell you everything. So, before I start, the new card. Which is called the graveyard is now released in the game. So if we now go to the shop and go to the cards collection, as you see, guys, we got the new card, the graveyard, and here's every statistic. Statistics, sorry. Uh, of course, you can check out the famous YouTubers like Nick at Night, Gaming Guzmalt, Eclipse, um, Galadon, Chief Pat, using those. Um, like, of course, the Supercell YouTubers, Clash Royale, using those, uh, using the Graveyard card and um, giving you some tips. Also, Clash with Ash, by the way, giving you some tips and giving you some gameplays on how to use, how to counter, something like that. But um, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how to use and counter the Graveyard. So it's not really hard, or I might do something else. So I'm gonna talk what I mean, okay? Before I start, guys, as you see, um, you remember that guy called Wills 2 k 20 He's no more here. His general fights for the win now. So I'm gonna explain for you. Uh, basically, I, I took his account. He gave me the access to take his account forever. I don't really know why, but I actually take, took his account. He, and he was like, it's okay. So he has a change name option, thanks God. And he changed it to general fights for the win. Obviously, without the E after the end, because there was no space. But it's fine. General fights for the win. It's not a big deal. And um, what's so special? Well, I don't have a screenshot. But if you watched um, the... Um, um, the video where I uploaded, I don't remember when, but the video where I uploaded, if you go to the Clash Royale playlist, me making the best Inferno Dragon deck, then you're gonna understand that I was in Arena 6, stuck at 18.50, and today, okay, I took his account in the morning, okay, and pushed all the way from Arena 6, Boulder's Workshop, from 18.50, not to the real arena, but to the Frozen Peak, so this means that we gained over, um, let's say, oh my god, we gained over 500 cups, guys. We raised 500 cups all the way from the Builder's Workshop to the Fraser Peak. We made a big progress. And until now, the only cards we got the, uh, from the um, Royal Arena, well, the only card is the Three Musketeers, which are great to level 2. And that's it. Well, I don't have the Royal Joint, I don't have the Mega Minion, I don't have Dark Prince of Guards, and the Legendaries, of course. Which is so weird. And for the Frozen Peak, I have none of those. But I just got the lumberjack. I'm gonna explain for you how. So if you go to the shop, well, um, it's not available now. But there was a um, legendary chest. Um, and um, sorry, I didn't open it live. It's because, um, well, you don't really have to see it live because I already made a video on opening uh, the legendary chest and unlocking the graveyard, unlocking the graveyard live. And my reaction, you know, of course you can check it out. Like it's gonna be the same reaction. I just closed my eyes. I was counting down and. Um, and there was just uh, I saw the legendary card being released. So the deck I'm using, you have to copy it right now. 3.9 screenshot the um, um, video. I push. This is the deck I used from Arena 6 to Frozen Peak. Now copy paste it right now. Also I have the freeze 10 over 20 to level 5, and I have the witch level 4. I have 7 over 10 for level 4 poison. I have the inferno dragon. I have the lumberjack as the only two legendaries. My hog rider is 32 over 100 for level 7. Musketeer is 46 over 100. So we have a lot of strong cards. Where here we have some level 6. That could go up to level 9, but I'm now focusing my epics because if I go down, you can see I have the babe dragon, the prince, the balloon, the giant skelly. The uh, I'll not upgrade skelly. Maybe the lightning spell, the pekka. All of those to upgrade. So we have still a lot of stuffs and yeah i'm gonna turn on the um second music hopefully well i have to go to soundcloud guys so sorry i just don't want to open soundcloud okay so enjoy this okay so i'm gonna open back clash Royale. and again guys this is gonna be my account and yeah guys this is gonna be so so great so i'm gonna show you a replay basically and uh, as you see we i battled someone called mino from Clan Ghadab al Layl in Arabic, and you could realize uh, before I even up, uh, opened the replay that that guy had a graveyard. I was just um, like, I wasn't really sure why he was laughing and laughing and laughing from the beginning, but that meant that he had the graveyard. But it's the first one, uh, first time I ever meet the graveyard, and you know, the graveyard is released, um, I believe, from like 10 hours 
like from 10 hours the time I'm recording right now which is not much and a lot of people are now unlocking the graveyard from legendary chests and they kept like they saved um, super magicals uh, magical legendary chests and those chests um, until the graveyard gets released to unlock it well in my own opinion I should rank the graveyard maybe as the um, second strongest legendary ever well the strongest legendary is inferno dragon and happy is the strongest one because they have it in my um, deck and you know so yeah uh, because it deals infinite damage to the tower, then I think the graveyard um, will take the second ranking because um, it's like it um, destroys all the tower, all the tower damage, or maybe keeps few HP. While the Sparky, the third, because it deals one thousand three hundred damage. So as you see, he has a graveyard and he has a smart deck. I think he copied from Clash with Ash. He's going for a Goblin Barrel Graveyard. But and when I saw this purple thingy. Um, I, d I was see, I was like, wow. But in my re like in my real reaction, I was like, what? How is this even possible? For real, when I saw this purple thing just glowing, I was just for for real. My heart was just beating. Uh, I don't really know why, but it's so scary to look at the graveyard. Maybe it's a lot. It's because of it's Halloween. I don't really know why. But if you go to Clash Royale channel, they just uploaded a video about um, them saying unlock the graveyard now, and they made some. Uh, I can know you can check it out. Go to Clash Royale channel and check it out. So I'm gonna give you top um, tips and tricks on how to use um, and counter the graveyard. Well, I don't have the graveyard yet, but um, I'm gonna even even though I'm gonna teach you how to use it. And that guy just uh, by the way used the graveyard once in this battle, maybe twice. But yeah, I think it's scared um, on using using it multiple times because the, it's because the counter that I'm gonna just say in a second just got him scared to use it. So you know basically the graveyard, um, let me just um, double the speed. So you know basically the graveyard keeps spawning every 0 0.5 seconds. This is the fact you might, uh, you guys must not know maybe, like you didn't know maybe. And it, um, it, like, um, it takes 10 seconds to finish the graveyard, which means if you multi, um, well I don't know if it's multiplier or divide, but if you think about it, 0 0.5 seconds for, um, for um, a skelly means... Um, no, let, well, let's say one second and 0 0.5 spawning speed for two skelly. You you multiply it and it becomes 26 skelly. It's like a skelly army, which is 20 skelly. Even before they made the update of um, making um, like the skelly army before they nerfed the skelly army from um, 21 counts 21 to 16. But um, yeah, and also as you see, guys, at the last moment he just dropped the graveyard and I was so scared I was about to lose. But the musketeer just clutched with their shotgun and destroyed the tower. So I'm gonna open this golden chest. Let's see what we get. We're gonna get gold. We're gonna get goblins, arrows, mortar, and elixir pumps. It was an arena six golden chest, by the way. I'm gonna open a re another silver chest. And um, that yeah, I just shared the replay. I got three views. That's cool. And you guys are watching. So you know what? Let's put another um replay um consisting of the graveyard. Hopefully we find. I think we should find. Like um oh we found one with a level two graveyard. And you know what, guys? Let's share this replay for you guys. So, okay, hopefully enjoy. Let me double the speed. So, I'm gonna teach you on how to counter the um, graveyard. So, basically, I just said that the, um, it uh, spawns 20 skellies, right? And it keeps spawning over time. So, if it spawns all in one group and in one time, this will be maybe a nerf for the um, skelly, um, for the graveyard, in my own opinion. I'm gonna tell you why, right? Because if it's all spawns together, you could easily throw, a f um, as I say, he has a level 2 graveyard, but anyways. But if you throw, the, uh, for example, a fireball, or you throw something like um wait what's uh, okay wait I just want to skip this song wait sorry sorry I just want to skip this song enjoy this one because it's with a pra song anyways guys so I want to tell you again if you throw a fireball or maybe a rocket which makes no sense to the graveyard for skellies or something like that it, in just one spell it's gonna kill instantly all the skelly that spawned at one time but if super, but supercell was so smart to make like I'm gonna tell you why it's legendary because it spawns over time so this makes um you um get um, nervous on how to use it how to counter it for example you throw arrows and um for example, you throw arrows, okay, and there's 10 skelly still remaining to spawn. And then you have 10 skelly to take care of, and um, this is gonna like, um, make for you pro problems. So I'm gonna tell you something. There's a spell called the Poison Spell, which you guys know, and most of you guys maybe stopped using it because of the latest nerf. But for me, it makes no sense if the poison is uh, basically stronger than the fireball because it does more damage. And, um, yeah, because it does more damage, by the way. And um, I think it's really more effective. Right, it doesn't um, slow down the troops' movement speed and the attack speed anymore. But even though, if you think about it, guys... Um, you know what, let's just say something. If you think about it, guys... Um, 
the poison um, takes 10 seconds to finish um, its expiration, right? If you take what I mean. If you get what I mean, sorry. So, if the skill, if this um, graveyard takes also 10 seconds, and the poison right here takes um, 10 seconds, this means um, when your opponent drops the graveyard, you drop the poison in front of the, like, in top of the graveyard, and this will take care of all the skelly and all of them gonna die. So it takes like 1 second I believe or 1.5 second to kill all of the skelly. So yeah, this is a, the biggest nerf and the best nerf to kill the... Well, not the... Sorry, I mean nerf. What? I mean, this is the best and the biggest counter ever to destroy... Uh, to kill a graveyard, let's say. Of course, you can use splash damage like Witch. Fire Spirit aren't this much um, effective against graveyard because it keeps spawning, you know. But something like Witch, um, Bomber, maybe Wizard, um, something like that. But I think the Poison is also a great counter, guys. This is the best one. So here now I teach you how to counter the graveyard. I'm gonna teach you how to use it. So you know what guys, let's go for one more let's just go for one battle. Hopefully we just get a win. I know that uh, don't really consist of a, a graveyard um, battle, but we gonna be versus a level 10 and this is gonna give us a lot of pain, most probably. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm gonna give him a good game in front of his face just to make him get scared and hopefully he rage quit, but it seems he don't want and um, we're gonna teach you how to use the graveyard so there's nothing really in how to teach you because the graveyard itself could destroy I mean, you know let's just go for lumber freeze because this ball will keep pushing oh I just oh my god I just did a mistake but anyways guys um you know um there's no really um how to use a graveyard but you could like it's not hard to use it you just need a good deck i'm gonna give you a good deck a good deck for it are the fast cycle speed um cards like the hog rider the goblin barrel the miner and i think um if you do the hog rider the goblin barrel the miner the graveyard combo which takes um 15 elixir i believe you're gonna be in great um uh, like you're gonna do um ultra damage to his opponent to your opponent tower because you have your opponent to take care of the whole rider of the miner of the goblin barrel of the um um skelly um the graveyard but if you throw a poison it's gonna take care of this um skelly not the skelly why is it skelly army the graveyard and the um goblin barrel but not the miner and the hog rider which gonna give your opponent a lot of hard time to take care of and i'm gonna drop the infernal dragon here by the way and take care of the bowler and yeah I'm gonna drop the first spirit because that's just doing some problems for me and that guy is just doing great damage anyways so yeah you like um I think the best time to use this combo is the uh, at the time when you get um to x2 elixir to get all of this 15 elixir because it's hard to gain 5 extra elixir when your elixir bar is full with 15 with 10 and uh, when you was x1 elixir time with the normal time but when it's x2 you have a great time so yeah and that guy is just spamming freeze and rage, I don't really know why. But this isn't how to use and how to counter the best deck. And you know, I showed you the gameplay of me getting attacked by the graveyard and um, a TV roll replay graveyard with a level 2 graveyard. And I'm just going for a battle. And after this battle, I'm gonna wrap the video, guys. So yeah, um, that bowler is just gonna bowl my hog rider. But I think that hog rider musketeer combo gonna just take her of the tower and just finish it. And you know what, guys, just go for inf random inferno dragon lumberjack push. To take care of his left tower and um, double pressure him, so he has to push and defend at the same time, which gonna give him a lot of hard time. I'm gonna freeze the tower to make that inferno dragon uh, make his damage, but seem the inferno dragon gonna die. I have to take care of the balloon, which gonna be uh, oh my god, I'm gonna lose the tower. He goes for a bowler baby dragon balloon freeze, and I have just 20 seconds, so I'm gonna save um, a lumberjack poison. And hopefully we can take out his tower in just 15 more seconds. He just was 1k HP. We're gonna use a f uh, poison for the spirit goblin. I'm gonna freeze the tower, but I'm not gonna be successful on destroying his tower. I'm gonna take the L, which is a lose. But, um, well, I'm called General Fights for the win. But I'm gonna take the L, and he's laughing. Thanks, thanks for laughing. Wow. So I'm gonna take minus 30 cops, but not a big deal. I'm still gonna get, like, as long as I'm gonna stay in the frozen peak, I don't really mind. And, again, I don't believe, I didn't believe that I just got, like, you guys won't really believe that I got from the Bullers Workshop to the Frozen Peak, which means I got like 600 cups within 2 hours of continuous playing. But if you don't want to believe, then don't believe. I'm just telling you. Because, yeah. So anyways, guys. Um, also, I want to tell you something before I wrap the video. Well, let me just open Clash for a second. I want to tell you something, guys. So, uh, something like bad news maybe for you guys for my that's going to kind of affect my channel. is because when I go to my um, friends... Well, um, wait, to my friends, and I want to go, for example, to, um, well, I don't have Colonel Faisal anymore. 
I'm kicked out from the clan and you can't see me anymore because um I tell you why it's because me and Chief Amat 21 were like switching accounts and you know I, like I keep switching accounts these days to make YouTube videos like using the Inferno Dragon, using the Spark, using the Lumberjack, using the Miner, you know, using the Princess, the Ice Wizard, the um Lava Hound, like you know, Air Effect, all those stuffs. So I need to. So in that case, I need to switch account. Then when I return to my okay, I return uh to my username and password of game center they asked me do you want to load trainers faisal account and then they asked me for colonel faisal so i had no choice just to tap yes and then i exit clutch and open it just in case they ask me for do you want to load colonel faisal they didn't even ask me and from that time i lost my account and don't know how to return it so if you know how to return it please go to the comments below or you know guys add me at facebook faisal al khaldi i'm gonna put in comments um, i'm gonna put the description below please um respond to me or uh, and twitter general Faisal for the win alt Faisal rani i'm gonna put it in the description below also guys please um give me a way on how to return my account but anyways guys i think with this account i'm gonna recover the loss of my colonel Faisal account where i'm still level eight and um but i have the inferno dragon like i i have two legendary as i had in my colonel Faisal. i have higher epics level i'm not gonna lie so i'm just having fun with this account but yeah um, hopefully you just understand me guys. But with that being said, peace out. See you tomorrow with a new video. Peace out.